in this session i am going to discuss hasman coding algorithm so it is used for finding the code words for the symbols present in a discrete memoryless source so for example when you take a computer keyboard the keyboard consists of uh, alpha numeric uh, keys so when you press a key then at the output some set of binary bits called as code words are generated so now in order to find these code words Huffman coding algorithm is used. So in this session, first I am going to explain the Huffman coding procedure. Then I am going to select a problem, uh, it is a discrete memoryless source, to understand this uh, Huffman coding algorithm. From that, I will calculate the coding efficiency. Then it is compared with the ASCII codes and the fixed length binary codes. So through this comparison, we will be able to uh, see uh, what is the level of compression achieved by using this Huffman coding algorithm. So in the case of Huffman coding procedure, the first uh, symbols are arranged in the decreasing order of probabilities. So then we have to combine the last two symbols and assign 1 for one symbol and 0 for another symbol. Then place a combined symbol in the decreasing order of probabilities. Continue this procedure until you are left with only two symbols. Then the calculate the code word by tracing in the backward direction. So here I am going to use this as a source alphabet that consists of eight symbols. A with the probability of 0.25, B with the probability of 0.25. Then CD with the probability of 0.14, EFGH with the probability of 0.055. So now when you add up these probabilities, it will add up to unity. So now for this uh, problem, uh, we are going to calculate the entropy, average code word length, then coding efficiency, then the average code word length using pixel length binary and ASCII. So first we have to arrange the symbols in the decreasing order of probabilities. So when you go down in this order, then the probability keep on decreasing. So here the last two symbols are uh, G and H that has the smallest uh, probabilities 0 0.055. Now we are going to combine these two symbols. So then assign 0 for this symbol and 1 for this symbol. Then we have to move the combined symbol again in the order so that the symbols are arranged in the decreasing order of probabilities. So here the combined symbol probability is 0.11 that was 0.11 is placed here below this 0.14. Again the symbols will be arranged in the decreasing order of probabilities. Then here combine the last two symbols the probability is 0.11. So now this 0.11 will be placed below this 0.14 and then this 0.11 will be moved here. Then combine the last two symbols, assign 0 for one symbol and 1 for another symbol. Then the combined symbol probability is 0.22. So now this 0.22 will be placed below this 0.25. So that again the list will be arranged in the decreasing order of probabilities. Then combine the last two symbols, uh, it will be 0.28. So 0.28 will be placed at the top. Then 0.25 will be moved here, this symbol will be moved here, this probability will be moved here. So here there are 4 symbols, uh, 4 probabilities, therefore again you have to uh, continue the procedure. So 0.25 plus 0.25 is 0.47, therefore it will be placed at the top. Then this symbol is moved here, this symbol is moved here. Then you combine the last 2 symbols 0.28 and 0.25, so that will be 0.53, then this 0.47 will be brought here. Then they combine the last two symbols, assign 0 for one symbol and 1 for this particular symbol. So with this, uh, Huffman uh, procedure is over. So next we have to calculate the code word. So that code word is traced by looking backwards. So A, 0.25, it goes here, it goes here, it goes here, then it goes here, then it goes here. So 1 is assigned. So this 1 will be the LSB in the code word for A. Then it goes here, 0. Therefore, 0, 1 is the code word for A. Then for B, it goes here, then it goes here. So 0, then it goes here, then it goes here, 1. So here 1 is assigned. Therefore, 1, 0 is the probability for uh, code word for B. 
so like that we can uh, continue this procedure and the code words are generated so next uh, for this code word we have to calculate the coding efficiency so coding efficiency uh, is represented by h of s by l bar where h of s is the uh, entropy of the source and l bar is the average code word length and the entropy represents the average code word length uh, it is expressed in terms of bits per symbol so h of s equal to uh, minus summation k equal to 0 to k minus 1 uh, pk into log pk to the base 2 bits per symbol so here we have to take the logarithm to the base 2 so for that uh, you can use a calculator uh, by taking logarithm to the base 10 then you have to multiply the end result by 3.32 so that will give you 2.71 bits per symbol then the average code length l bar is equal to summation k equal to 0 to k minus 1 pk into lk bits per symbol where pk is the probability of the kth symbol and lk is the uh, length of the kth code word so here the length of the code word uh, can be calculated here for a the code word is 0 1 therefore the length of this code word is 2 and for e the code word, uh, code word is 1 1 0 0 therefore the length of the code word is 4 then for h it is 1 1 1 1 therefore the length of the code word is 4 so similarly you can calculate the length of the code word or lk for all other symbols then the average code word length will be 2.72 bits per symbol then the efficiency uh, eta equal to h of s by l bar is equal to 2.71 so this value and the average code word length is 2.72 into 100 that will give you 99.63 percent then for the same set of symbols uh, when you are using the ascii uh, codes then in ascii the each character is represented by 7 bits therefore the average code word length will be 7 and if you are using a fixed length binary then the number of bits uh, required in the code word uh, can be uh, calculated by using this formula 2 power n is greater than or equal to m where n is the number of bits in the code word and m be the uh, number of symbols present in the source alphabet uh, and here for this example m, uh, m, represent, uh, m will be 8 and therefore the 2 power n must be greater than or equal to 8 therefore n equal to 3 so if you are using ascii the number of bits per symbol is 7 and for fixed length binary it reduces to 3 then for Huffman coding it, it drops to 2.72 therefore by, by using Huffman coding we are able to uh, derive a code that is having uh, the minimum average code word length so when the minimum average code word length is uh, small then the coding efficiency will be higher so now you consider uh, this problem in which uh, the test sequence is given so for this problem you have to calculate the entropy and the average number of bits per character for code word using Huffman algorithm so generally if you want to apply Huffman algorithm then the set of symbols along with the statistics have to be given whereas in this problem the statistics is not given directly therefore from the sequence first you have to find the probability of occurrence of each symbol then you have to apply the Huffman algorithm so in order to find the probability first you count the number of characters present in the sequence so here the total number of characters will be 20 when you count the number of A's, B's, C and S then uh, there will be 20 characters present in the sequence then you have to count the number of A present in the sequence so the total number of A's in the sequence is 10 when you count these values it will add up to 10 then the probability of a will be 10 by 20 which is equal to 0.5 so 20 is the total number of characters present in the sequence then for b again calculate the total number of b's present in the sequence so it is 5 then the probability of b will be 5 by 20 is equal to 0.25 then the total number of c's present in the sequence is 3 then the probability of c is 3 by 20 is equal to 0.15 then the total number of s in the sequence is 2 then the probability of s will be 2 by 20 is equal to 0.1 so now this is the uh, some of the probabilities uh, of these uh, characters present in the sequence 
probability of A is 0.5, probability of B is 0.25, probability of C is 0.15, probability of S is 0.1. When you add up this probability, it will add up to unity. So now using these uh, statistics, now we can proceed in the same way what I have discussed in for the previous problem. Thank you.